Melissa. Yes, yeah, Sarah, just a few leftover showers as we go throughout the rest of tonight and during the overnight hours, but things will refire once again as we get into Sunday afternoon. Here's Storm Tracker 6 Live Double Scan Radar 3D. You can see the showers, the thunderstorms pressing into our area and moving off the coast to the south and east. A lot of the heavy showers and storms and the severe weather skirted our region to the south, down to the south of South Jersey and also into Baltimore and into Washington, D.C. A closer look on street level is Storm Tracker 6 still have some residual moisture there in Trenton and Mercer County. Same thing in Wrightstown, Seaside Heights getting hit with a little bit of leftover uh, rain and same thing for Millville and also down into Cape May. As far as the storm reports we had today, West Goshen and Chester County trees were knocked down. Same thing in Wayne, Philadelphia. A tree was knocked down at Ridge Avenue. Woodland, you saw that video there of a tree on a trailer and Medford and Burlington County reports of trees and wires knocked down. We still do have a coastal flood advisory that stays up until midnight from Seaside Heights down to Cape May on westward into the Delaware beaches. Uh, the bay waves and the bay front anywhere from one to two feet high. Ocean waves anywhere from three to to four feet high for the overnight hours. We'll repeat this pattern, but shift that severe weather threat a little farther to the south. So the Storm Prediction Center has placed our region and a slight risk of finding some scattered showers and storms is for Redding, Philadelphia, Atlantic City, points to the south and west. The big concern tomorrow will be damaging winds and the possibility of hail and some flooding rain. But coming up, we're going to take a closer look at the forecast, Sarah, because the heat wave will likely come to an end tomorrow. Those details coming up with the Accurate the 7 day. And there, Sarah, we'll show you what's going on. She from our Temple University camera looking at the center city skyline. It is quiet if you're out on the town right now. As we look at the weather headlines, the heat wave will likely break as we get into Sunday with highs tomorrow in the middle 80s. It's still humid tomorrow. That will likely bring us another thunderstorm threat across the region, but the relief comes as we get into early next week. Right now in Philadelphia, it's 82 after a high today of 93. So this was day five of heat wave number five in Philadelphia, 71 in Allentown. Same thing in Reading at the coast in Beach Haven, 80 degrees in Cape May coming in at 75 degrees. We're still tracking a little bit of moisture outside. Here's Storm Tracker 6 live double scan radar. And you can see we do have those showers still in Mercer County, also into Trenton, and even some showers down across South Jersey. So we'll go in tighter on street level with Storm Tracker 6. You can see the showers to the south of Buna moving into Millville, also into Morristown at this hour. Ocean City dealing with some showers and some moderate pockets of rain even to the west of Tuckahoe. As far as the dew point numbers, it's still pretty oppressive outside. Anytime you have dew point numbers in the upper 60s and lower 70s, we've got a lot of humidity overhead, and that will remain the case even as we get into Sunday. So even though we will likely break the heat wave tomorrow, still pretty unsettled. Satellite 6 along with Action Radar showing you those showers and storms we had earlier today, some of which were on the severe side. All of that moisture moving on off to our south and east, and a lot of the heavy rain moved across areas and Maryland and also into Washington, D.C. Feature Tracker 6 timing out the precipitation as we go throughout the overnight hours. 2 o'clock in the morning, still some leftover showers in the Poconos for Trenton, even down into South Jersey. You wake up tomorrow morning, 8 o'clock in the morning, clouds and pockets of sunshine overhead and a few spotty showers there in South Jersey. But as the humidity builds as we go throughout the day and into the early evening hours, this model is showing you by 8 o'clock tomorrow night, we've got those showers firing up once again for our northwest suburbs and also down into South Jersey and the severe weather threat tomorrow looks to be in Philadelphia and points to the south and the south and east. So if you're down the shore tomorrow, clouds and some sun, still a humid day, high temperature at 84 and we still have to allow for a thunder shower overhead and up in the Poconos tomorrow. Still a little bit on the unsettled side with an afternoon thunder shower coming on in and a high in at 73. Here's exclusive AccuWeather 7 8 forecast. It is humid tomorrow and at 85, but the heat wave comes to an end. On Monday, mostly cloudy with a pop up thunderstorm and at 88. Refreshing by Tuesday and at 83. Wednesday, mostly sunny and nice and at 85. And the upper 80s return as we get into Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And the threat of those pop ups come back as well, Sarah. But at least tomorrow we get a break from our heat wave.